You might be asking yourself, what are some of the problems that diabetes causes in my feet? The most common cause of, in the diabetic foot are things like changes in your structure of your foot, which can then cause uh, breakdowns in the skin. Breakdowns being things like maybe just a blister or a little fluid filled area, maybe even a soft spot. Oftentimes they're not painful because of neuropathy in your foot, you don't feel these things develop. That's why inspection is very important. Uh, the other things that can occur are changes in the structural or, or position of your foot. Your, your arch may tend to collapse more over time as a diabetic, which will then change the pressure areas in the bottom of your foot. Typically the pressure on your foot is picked up through the heel of your foot and then across the ball of your foot. Uh, with diabetes, this can actually change the foot structure to the point where you put pressure in new areas. These areas aren't designed to handle that pressure very well, which can then cause a callus formation. Maybe a lot of you are familiar with the callus, maybe some aren't. What a callus is, is a thickened area of skin. It's, th it's thicker than the surrounding skin, and oftentimes you can feel those types of things developing, or if you run your hand across the foot, you can feel the callus develop, becoming a thicker area of skin. The next stage of this progresses to a callus with little dark spots in the middle of it. These are little um, broken blood vessels in the callus. That's telling you that the next stage of the callus has progressed to the point where you're actually having so much pressure there that you're breaking the blood vessels. This places you one step away from having the skin break into an actual open sore or a wound that has trouble healing. When it reaches that point, it may actually fill with fluid, blood, or pus and, and become infected at that point. The other things that happen to the diabetic foot are more likely to develop infectious processes like onychomycosis, which is a fungal infection that affects your nails. This, this can appear simply as small little white changes in the nail itself to the point where it can actually progress to a very thick nail. People think it's callus in the nail often cases or that they've had poor hygiene. These are not the things. The problem is that the diabetes suppresses your immune system which then allows the fungus which causes the, the fungal infection to set up under the toenail and it can be very difficult to treat. For a person without diabetes, it's simply a cosmetic issue for, in most part. But for the diabetic, it can become thick to the point of causing pain or it can actually cause small sores to develop under the nail. Again, it becomes a pressure issue as the uh, fungal infection becomes so thick causing the nail to thicken up a great deal, it actually causes skin breakdown under the nail bed and to the point where you actually have no idea it's actually developed and it leads to infection. And this is especially important because the bone in the toe is actually directly under the nail bed which then, if it's left untreated or you don't inspect your feet on a consistent basis, it can actually cause a bone infection which can then progress to amputation. So it's very important to inspect your feet on a daily basis to prevent these things from getting out of hand. Next is uh, tinea pedis or a fungal infection in your skin. This can present in a couple different ways. It can show up as small splits or cracks in between your toes, sometimes with very tiny blisters that form that may also pop and become red or irritated looking. Sometimes the skin actually will appear white or appear to have some loose white debris present between the toes. Uh, the fungus presents in various forms. All of these end up leading to infection if not treated properly. Fungal infections can also appear in the skin along the bottom of your foot. It appears most often in what's called a moccasin pattern, which is al along the bottom of your foot and extending slightly into the arch or the instep of your foot. Uh, this also can appear as red, small blisters and um, that sort of drain a clear fluid. If it's left untreated long enough, and in many diabetics it is because they don't recognize that's what it is, it can become a chronic or long-term infection in the skin. At this point, it becomes actually very dry looking. It becomes dry, red, with small shallow cracks in the skin. People oftentimes will apply lotion to the area, assuming it's a dry skin that never gets better, and in fact it's a chronic athlete's foot infection. And you might be saying, well, I've often heard that athlete's foot infections are itchy. Well, for a diabetic who has no feeling in their feet or reduced feeling in their feet, they don't actually detect the itching sensation, and so you don't know that it's actually itching because you don't feel it. So it's very important to address these things because they're all portals for infection.